got folks from back home that'll do you grind me a ducks Dunkin' down a double cuffs Know a hoodie on About as yellow as the fucking sun Give her six cents Subway Red doubled up Hopping off the metro Just to take another yellow What's good, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Sam Leon with another banger. Today's video, I'm super excited because it's one of my most anticipated. It's me sneaking a bottle of Prime into Paris Fashion Week. So in today's video, I'm gonna hit up four different shows, which are the Off-White Show, the Isabel Maran Show, the Rick Owen Show, and the Schiaparelli Show. Yeah, I got a giveaway for you guys, so stay to the end of the video. You guys probably know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm giving away a t-shirt that was given at the Off-White Show. It comes with the Off-White package and everything else included in it. The is super fire it's a size m it's worth around 400 euros so guys you should really really sail to the end to watch the giveaway but enjoy the video it's gonna start with me talking about my outfit for today be sure to subscribe like before you start watching that's it boys this is the outfit for today a pair of cargo pants oversized from jaded london a white t-shirt with something else long sleeve just so that i'm not gonna die easy gap hoodie this diesel belt and this vintage jacket on very easy like as an accessory i'm gonna wear the easy shades from the uh, Easy Season 9. But the outfit is done. I look super fucking good. If I wasn't white and with hair, I would look like Kanye. I am the perfect copycat. Even the gloves. This is super sick. Let's go print the passes. We printed the paper. Uh, I'm gonna go on the metro. It's 45 minutes from here. I'm gonna arrive kinda late, like 15 minutes before starting time, but it's always late, so should be fine. Got my pass here. Kinda shit, but. We'll try to see if it works or not. Uh, the pass was given to me by one of the workers. He sent me a picture, so I just had to print it out. Of course, it's not the same thing, but if you can kind of hide it, kind of like be confident, you can manage to get in. I don't see shit in these glasses. Yo, Kanye, can't you make like something that you can actually see and use instead of just have, have to look good? Also got my bottle of Prime here, official sponsor of the Off-White show. That's gonna be sick. That's perfect. Blue Prime for blue off-white. I also dressed up perfectly. So for the Dior show and this one, I legit dressed up like the show. Dior was super slick, like stylish, kind of feminine. This one is more like streetwear, blue. And I got my bottle of Prime. Bonjour. Merci. Okay, so the shit worked super easily. I'm in the backstage uh, and we made it in. Shit, it's not blue though, it's like sand. Okay, so I went inside and I managed to get my bottle of Prime. It matches the outfit, but everything here is like pitch dirt, so it's not gonna it's not gonna fit actually like I thought. Only the outside. But yeah, glasses, the shades. I look like shit probably, but yeah. Got all my friend models in the backstage, so I wanna say hi to them, but they're just changing up right now, so we'll see. But the important thing was to get the official sponsor of Perry Special Week, Prime. Logan Paul KSI, sponsor me. For the next one, I'll wear all the clothes for the color of the bottle. But yeah, super cool. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, a lot of y'all have been asking me on Instagram and sometimes commenting about who records me. So in this video, you're gonna see sometimes somebody has a camera. It's three options. Either it's my cameraman that I managed to sneak in once I'm inside or he sneaks as well with me when I do the stuff. It's either photographers or people that find me funny in the industry that work at shows because now I know so many people because my video went viral so they recognize me and sometimes they find me funny so they don't snitch and they actually help me out doing videos and record stuff. And the third option is that sometimes they're just people that are legit there because they're invited and then they ask them, can you do me a video for me, please? And I don't fake this shit. <laughs> I would never will. You guys probably have seen all my videos. I did so many shows that I don't need to show you guys all the time how I do it. Okay, so I got one of the black t-shirts that they give out to guests. Off-White always gives out like t-shirts and shit. Look how much I really don't fit with the old fucking thing. Prime, by Prime, sponsor of Paris Fashion Week with St. Leon. This is this is too like too full. I'm gonna do it later, but we snuck Prime into Paris Fashion. Too bad that the off white show is not blue like it usually is. It's like fucking lunar, like there's a moon on this shit, so I cannot like 
fully get the color, but let's do a taste test. First time tasting part. A very special. Oh, this shit good for real though. I don't like energy drinks, but this shit is good. <laughs> good job, KSI. Look on Paul. I'm waiting for the sponsor. This is Prime. This is St. Leon. And we brought Prime a very special meal. They have rocks that I just kicked. Uh, still haven't seen any any famous people yet. of vibrating super cool Start the clapping. I'm gonna start it. Oh, we got like pizza boxes full of t shirts. <laughs> okay, so we made it in the back. Go! Okay, so here the audio got super fucked up. I put the microphone in the wrong position and it just started like muffling so you couldn't hear anything. But anyway, I snuck in the backstage and I gave Prime a little bit of a shout out with the models. So I talked to them. This is my boy Goy. He was the one closing off the show with the super cool outfit. And this is another guy who was his friend. We were talking about how good looking I was and how cool I am for sneaking into every show. And <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but I was just talking about like... Uh, how much I appreciated what they were doing and the fact that they were doing other shows or if they were just doing this one. I sponsor more Prime in front of everyone that was there and I was like, Prime, sponsor a fashion week, Logan Paul and KSI, sponsor me. And with the off white logo in the back, so I was just doing whatever I wanted basically in the backstage once I was there. And then I went to say hi to another model that always comments under my Instagram videos because it's always at every show. It does the spin while it does the runaway, so it's super cool. And I was like, yo, Prime. And then he asked what it was. And I'm like, yeah, well, these are pizza boxes and this is prime to drink, you know? And, uh, you know, they were actually t-shirts that I'm going to give away. So yeah, then I just left outside and I asked a girl that knew me from my videos to take a video of me while I threw away one of the pizza boxes. Oh. Like that. Yeah. And then take the video while I'm there. You ready? Yeah. Okay, everyone, so the show ended. We're going to the next one, which is Chloe. Um, I got three t-shirts because one I <laughs> threw away, like as you saw in the video. To be honest, I don't really mind about these stuff, so I'm giving it out on my channel. Like, legit, I don't like materialistic things. I couldn't get two shits. I just like to dress because I want to look good, but... So yeah, I'm on our way to Chloe, and uh, we'll see what's up. Okay, so I'm scouting the location. This is the entrance, so am I just gonna get from here? Plus one, but he just walked in and I was gonna make it. I only have, I need a name. 
Okay, so the thing is that I'm starting to get more and more recognized. I mean, I mean, this time I fucked up because I said a name of the person who just walked in and they knew who he was, so I couldn't do much about it. You gotta be smart. You gotta choose your battles. I already did the content for the off white that I wanted to do, so I'm gonna wait till the Givenchy if I can get into that one, and that's it. Okay, so now I'm almost home. Uh, as you guys can tell, like I don't have plans. Like I just decide in the morning what to do, and then based off what happens, I just go with the flow. And right now I'm just tired, my phone is almost dead. Givenchy already done the Rio, it went viral. Don't really think there's any celebrities there, but I'll definitely hit up some other shows later tonight. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So I just woke up, I feel a little bit less like shit. The plan is now to go to Rick Owens, and after that I'm gonna go to the Schiaparelli and Isabel Moran, which are the last two shows of the day. Change up real quick, I wanna change outfit because I don't wanna always wear the same shit, and uh, I'm ready to go. Just change the color of the Yeezy sweater, and then I just put my brown, um, Tom Sachs on, They're super comfy, and uh, to be honest, this is a very, very much like normal outfit, nothing too serious. I think I'll put on my Jesus jacket. Okay, so a quick outfit check. This is the look, nothing too crazy, um, very, very low key, but still looks good. Okay, so we're on the way, on the way to the venue, and this brings back memories when I first went to the Rico Wind Show. I was singing here, pull up us in the location. There's no one, but it's gonna be in this one. Okay, the show's supposed to be down here. Where's the rickshaw? Is it here? Yeah. Okay, so where I was before was the entrance for the backstage, but um, there was one guard only, and it was asking for a recognition. There's uh, the entrance for everyone here. You need like a little, little paper to get in. So while I was editing, the fucking sunlight went out and I have a tattoo now. Uh, <laughs> I'm two year old, like I just bought a bubble gum and that tattoo, so I wanted to try it on my face and now I'm Batman. But yeah, I failed the entrance from the front gate, so I just went back to the backstage where I was before. The guard was not there anymore and I just walked in. <laughs> Legit, I didn't even have time to take my phone out because it was not there anymore. I had to like make sure to not lose any time, so I just ran in and then I was in the backstage. Okay, so we're in the backstage. I just like went down, so that's how I got here, but <laughs> I want to see the show now. I have to find a way to go in front. I'm just gonna talk like this. So we went through the backstage and then we were chilling out there where all the models were. But um, at one point, girl came to check the passes and uh, I just straight up walked where the models are coming out and I'm in the standing area. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you, Rick. Little video before I get caught. Yo, take a video, take a video of me of me doing this. Hehehehe <laughs> 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 
What? Oh, yeah. What's up, man? What's your name? What? Alex? The Leo. Nice to meet you. How it was, sir? <laughs> it's, not a good, it's, not a, it's not a good actor. It's not a good actor. No, 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 Thank you. Bye guys, have a good one. Okay, so right after the recording show, we went to the Schiaparelli because we thought maybe we can make it. And my videographer didn't get in because I was walking through the venue and I saw some like cables on the street. I'm like, yo, I want to try this. And they were actually the cables to enter the backstage and it was a red door. So a security guard was going through there. I followed him without even looking. I just got in and I was inside. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the footage of this shit because legit, you have to have like those moments like it's five seconds and if you don't get in like that, you don't get in. But also I got kicked out from the main like runaway uh, because I was so underdressed. So I don't have any reasons to fake this shit. Um, and again, like why would I be maybe invited to these things and snitch myself out and maybe not have the chance to be invited and also i'm in the backstage i'm not working on anything you know <laughs> but i just want to point it out because you know people sometimes wonder the video will just start with me being already inside okay so this is the entrance i managed to get in the backstage by just walking inside the door okay so we're inside this beautiful building it's super private and uh we'll see This is the outside. But yeah, I'm super underdressed for this shit. I am not wearing anything that they're wearing. They're all wearing black, very, very fancy. I'm not wearing anything fancy at all. Uh, Paris is super fancy, <laughs> but I got a glass of wine that I don't even fucking drink. Yeah, as I said, I got in like very, very easily by a red door. I just walked in with a guy that was security and legit didn't tell me anything. Okay, so I'm very much dressed like a homeless person in one of the most exclusive places I've ever been to. All of this is high and expensive shit. And I'm wearing like Tom Sachs streetwear stuff. Okay, so I got kicked out and I went back to the backstage um, because we were squeezing all together in one seat and I couldn't fit in it. So this was a very, very, very small show, like legit, no seats extra. So. Oh, I'm still in the backstage, still made it in. Actually, it's more impressive to be here than inside. I don't really care about the show itself. Okay, so now I'm in the bathroom because in the backstage, a security guard came and I recognize his face. He's always at every event. And uh, he came with the girl that asked me for my name. A friend of mine just texted me. I think I'm gonna go out now. And uh, it was the most stressful 15 minutes of my life, goddamn. I really don't want to get caught. Uh, not because I'm scared of getting caught, I just don't want to ruin the chance of getting in so many times. But I know eventually it will end because I've been doing so much shit that eventually it will end. You know, they will catch me. But not catch me inside, you know, I just want to get caught that I cannot get in anymore. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, peace out. Uh, no, I'm not peace out. I'm just going to go out now. Okay, so I'm back where I was. I'm just going to walk the fuck out. I'm good. I managed to get one of these. So um, they, cannot they cannot tell me shit anymore. Okay, so there was not anything else to do in the backstage. I just got out. Once you start getting the vibe, you just gotta hop the fuck out of there because that's the moment you get caught. So it was super easy to get in. As I said, I just walked in, but inside then I was sitting and they kicked me out. So then I went to the backstage and in the backstage I saw one of the security guards and I was a little bit scared. So I just said, fuck it. And then I hopped out right when the models came out and then I took some videos and that's it. Look how many people were here. This is crazy. I was up there, you guys saw from the video. But uh, yeah, I want to try to see if I can manage to get it to this shuttle in time. Ah, can you stop the bus for him? <laughs> okay, so we're right in front. I don't want to use the name thing because I've seen too many people that check the names now. And sometimes I get bounced and I think they recognize me. I can't believe this shit worked. This was the other show and they just let me walk in with this one. This is absolutely incredible.
cool to have a place for uh, people who are standing so I don't have to fucking steal a seat for once. Okay, well, so guess where I am? Fourth show today is a bad maran. And I got in with the pass that I got from this Caparalli venue. I just showed this one and it worked. Ha! Ha ha! So we just grabbed the seat. Now we're just waiting for the show to start. Okay, so it's finally starting. I'm absolutely sleepy, sleepy, sleepy headed. This fashion week is kind of shit. <laughs> There's not a lot of celebrities. Okay, so we're outside. I want to talk to this model that is beautiful <laughs> just because <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. Okay, so we're walking out now from the Isabel Maran show. Today we did four shows. Super cold, super tired. We might hit up an after party for Givenchy as my cameraman's got an invite. And um, yeah, this is the first time I might actually go inside with somebody that is invited. <laughs> but yeah, this is super cool. I got in, as I said, with this shit. Which was the, actually the other Schiaparelli show, so... Green security. Go, play rock, paper, scissors. I'll throw it, I'll throw it. No, 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 Welcome! <laughs> okay, so it's 10 o'clock. The show has ended an hour ago. So right now we're just walking somewhere. Maybe we eat, maybe we go to the after party. We still don't have a clue what we're doing. Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, so we made it inside the Isabel Maran after party after like following the crowd. So we're in. Uh, they gave us the bracelet. We are currently outside of the off-white uh, after party. We did manage to go into the um, Isabel Maran after party and then we went to the Silencio after party for Givenchy. But they were both like not at the top so right now we're currently going to another one where there's this girl that I met which I fell in love with. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, hop on a taxi, go there, see what's up if we can get in. And after that, I think we could call it a day, go home, sleep, and my cameraman will go back in Italy. So, unfortunately, I won't have any much more footage unless I find people inside the show that can do it for me. But yeah, so far, it's been three fucking days of good fashion week. And uh, let's see what's up, man. We're not gonna finish the fashion week like we did with Kanye, but we're still gonna do some cool stuff. So, okay, so this is the end of the video giveaway for the t shirts. So, let's reach, let's say, 500 likes because uh, we never reached what I asked to, but it's also because I'm very, very small. So I think 500, we can reach it. Once I reach 500, I'll pick a random comment under my YouTube video and make sure to follow me because I usually ask you to DM me and if you don't follow me, I'm not gonna pick you. Peace out, Leo, play the fucking outro.